If you want to get instant improvement with leg circulation, it can be done if you approach it properly. And we're going to show you the three secrets that you need to know in order to do this. I prefer to say gems or three pearls. Okay. Whatever, you're going to learn a lot in this video. First, we're covering three concepts that you'll need to know, and then we're going to get into five exercises. Four of them have a double concept that really is going to maximize blood flow in the legs and get you where you want to be. So the first major concept we first want to look at to increase blood flow is to stop sitting so much and get moving more. That's right. Now, the medical community has adopted the saying, sitting is the new smoking. And that's because sitting really does affect your life in a negative way if you sit too much. All right. Now, one of the key pearls that I want to talk about is muscle contraction. In the legs particularly, muscle contraction acts as a pump to move the blood up into the trunk where it needs to go to get reoxygenated. And we're going to show you some specific exercises you can do to perform this, and we're going to start from the feet and work all the way up to your trunk. There you go. And the last important concept is gravity. Make sure you use gravity. It's easy to do. You just have to incorporate it. What do you say, Mike? We're going to show you two variations, one against gravity and one using gravity as your friend. There you go. All right, the first thing we're going to address is the foot, actually the bottom of the foot to get the muscles in there working. They're small muscles. A nice way to get things loosened up in there is simply take a tennis ball. You can use one of these little foot massager balls with little knobbies on it, and you simply roll back and forth for about 30 seconds to a minute. Do be both feet. Go ahead, Mike. It's a little less aggressive on the bed because you're going to push it down into it and absorb some of the pressure. So if you want more pressure, do it in a seated position. Also, the next exercise is going to be some toe curls. That's right. In order to do these, you're simply going to curl your toe under your foot. You can do them with your socks on or without, probably not with your shoes on. Or you can also use it by grabbing a towel with your feet like Brad is going to show. Yeah, this is a nice way to actually get some motion going. You grab and you pull the towel towards you. So I got the, all the towel underneath my foot. I'm done with that foot. Now I'm going to start with the other one. That gets these muscles moving, increases circulation here. It's a very good way to be complete. Okay, now we're going to work our way up the legs and do the ankles and calf muscles. I'm going to do this in a supine position laying in bed here with my feet raised up. This is going to help gravity push the blood flow up to my trunk like we want so you're just going to have to take some pillows or a leg wedge to get your feet raised up above your heart level like i have now and you can do 10 to 15 repetitions of this now brad's going to show a couple other variations you can do it in a seated position you will not have gravity assist like this but it's still a lot better than, than not doing it you'll still get the muscle pumping action simply do uh Full range of motion, pull up and go down. I've got no socks on, as you can see right now, but you can do it with shoes on, socks. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get the motion. If you want to get a little more aggressive, simply do it in a standing position up on your toes and roll back and hold on to something if your balance is a little off so you do not fall, obviously. 10 to 15 of these, and you will feel some nice muscle work. The blood is already flowing in the right direction. You're doing great. We've got another few exercises. Let's go with that, Mike. Okay, now we're going to start getting some circulation going in the quads and the hamstrings. To do this, I'm going to keep one leg planted in a flex position like this, bring my other one up to roughly a 90-degree angle here, and then I'm going to simply kick my foot towards the ceiling. What's comfortable for you? You're going to get a little hamstring stretch here, so if it feels tight, that's why. Just try to do 10 to 15 repetitions. Go nice, slow, and controlled. Once you do one leg, switch and make sure to work both sides. So obviously with this, gravity is also assisting, helping pull the blood down, particularly when the foot is up and you do the ankle pumps while you're up there. In the chair is an acceptable way to do it without the gravity assist, of course. Simply kick up and go down, not real fast. Make sure you, if you want to do a bonus, do a few ankle pumps while you're up, two or three, back down, and do 10 to 15 of these on each leg. And the last exercise in a laying down or seated position, we're going to work the glutes to get that last bit of circulation up your legs. I'm going to do some bridges here. You can put your hands at your side if you need more support. You're going to go up, hold for a few seconds, and then go back down. Make sure to breathe throughout this. If this seems easy, you can always put your arms across your chest like this. Now Brad's got a little bit harder variation he's going to show to work those glutes. 
Right, so this is gonna be in a seated position. We're simply gonna go from here to a standing position, working a large muscle groups in the legs and the glutes. Make sure you have armrests if you're a little, un a little wobbly. Make sure you're safe. If this is easy, you can do it. Mike said, hands here to get a little more muscle contraction. And make sure you squeeze those butt cheeks in at this point to help finish off and be complete with that muscle contraction, assuring good maximum blood flow throughout the legs. I'm getting tired, Mike. Are you? Well, the next exercise is going to be more tiring, Brad. <laughs> all right, now this last exercise does not use gravity at all. There is no option. We're going to use a stairway. It works all the muscles from the feet all the way up to the uh, hips, and it works very well. It may not be for everyone if you have problems and you don't feel stable with this or strong enough, that's okay, work the other ones. Go ahead, Mike. For beginners, make sure to use handrails. If you don't need them, feel comfortable, you don't have to use them. But we're gonna do step ups. We're gonna do the right leg first. I'm gonna lead up with the right foot and then bring the left foot back down. We're gonna do five on each leg. So that would be my second rep, my third rep, etc. Once you get to five, we're gonna lead with the left leg, leading up and then bringing the right leg down first again. You want to focus on using the leg that's on the step that's going to strengthen that one a little more. I'm not trying to push hard with my back leg. If, there, you, if you need to push with both legs because you can't get up, it's okay, but focus on the front leg. Actually, I have one little pearl to add, Mike. For, oh. for those people who really want to get a complete workout, stand up and now go up on your toe with that foot. There you go, so you get those calves working a little bit more. It's just a little bonus if you really wanna add everything to that. I feel taller doing this. Yes, and you look taller, Mike. I'm very happy. I'm like Bob. <laughs> All right, now those are five exercises. I'd recommend doing them all in order, just as you had. You can either do them lying down on your bed or the floor or in a chair, and do them at least one to two times per day to maximize the benefits of getting that blood circulation. You should feel things uh, moving very well. Now, there is uh, some things if you want to actually purchase some tools to help out. We've got two things here. One of them is a foot massager. Now this is something that Bob really likes. He used, you're still using this on a daily basis, Bob? Not so much anymore. I know you were at one time. The nice thing about this is it uses compression. So if you have circulation problems, particularly in the feet with swelling, it'll do some compression, which is adjustable. There's massage heads in there that actually massage the bottom of the foot and it's very comfortable and it feels good. So you can do that 15 to 20 minutes. Um, something else that is a little more aggressive, getting muscle contraction. Go ahead, Mike. So mine is actually an active way to get some blood flow, and this is just a little seated elliptical machine. Just pedaling this is going to get the blood circulating all the way from your ankles and feet up to your hips. Most of the time in physical therapy, before we worked people, we'd warm them up on this, and they'd feel a lot better before we started exercising That's more. That's right. You could use a stationary bike as well, but... This was easier to demonstrate. All right, another nice option to get those legs moving in a seated position is the Fit Glide. It's something that Bob and I actually worked on, invented, and it works very well. Big advantages of this, it's a low profile. You can put it below your desk at any chair, and it's very light compared to a, a device like that. They work well, but that weighs about 20 pounds. This you can lift with one finger. So uh, the way it works is simply down and you have a real free motion going back and forth. You can do this for five to 10 minutes. Doesn't look like much, but I guarantee you, you're gonna get your hamstrings and your quads feeling exercised. You can actually flip it up and have an incline working this way, emphasizing quadriceps strength, or simply flip it around, and this emphasizes hamstring strength, and it really does work well. We've, uh, we've had them out for a few years, haven't we, Bob? Mm-hmm, yep, all right. Shall we go on? We shall. If you'd like to check out another video on improving blood flow in the legs, specifically lymphedema, then you can click the video link right here. That's right. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet.